Hello, and welcome to Against the Moon. We don't care much for the moon around these parts. We're pro-sun. Pro-sun around here. So... For... just for a start. Right from the get-go. Don't start... Don't start trying to praise the moon. We only praise the sun around here. Don't... don't let me catch you with any moon pies. Or anyone singing Harvest Moon. It's right out. Or playing Harvest Moon video games. Or anything else moon themed. It's just... I didn't play the prologue last time, so I'm actually gonna play the prologue today. So we know the actual plot. The moon is corrupt. It's delinquent. The moon is in a gang and into hard drugs. <laughs> I'm feeling silly today. Hey everybody, I'm Tegan. I forgot to introduce myself. Hope is fading! It's the, it's the damn moon! Curse you! We will train like Shaolin monks. So people are like nothing but lines, because like, these, these are the ones who will die. Look to your right, look to your left, and look at the two guys at the front of the line. They're going to die. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's rough. Maybe he should have taught them something other than the backhand. It's all, it's all right fist. This guy, he has a giant right fist, or giant right gauntlet. Just use your right hand only in combat. I don't think he's the best teacher. Teacher? <laughs> I don't... I'm not sure. I'm still not following all the terminology. Luma. Luma is good. So we play as arcs. I played one round of this, but I didn't play the tutorial, I didn't play the prologue, so I didn't know the plot, and I lost quickly. I also had tons of technical difficulties, and it was a cursed video, and I'm not even sure if I'll release it, but if I do, I'll hopefully cut it down some. So... Collect the sarcophagus. Yeah, check out Galdir's giant gauntlet. This is why <laughs> this is why he teaches a right hand only fighting style in combat. Punch the enemy with your giant right hand. All right, so we're being attacked by scouts. Protect the sarcophagus. These twisted abominations are called furos. They are hu the moon's servants and humanity's sworn enemies. They've got moons for heads. With little windows on the front. That's actually kind of cute. Moon doggies. All right. So it's teaching me that... Galdir has known the shield of arcs for a good reason. He's got a giant right hand and will punish the enemies. His real skill is using Luma to defend his allies. Galdir will be overwhelmed if we do not do something about it. We have these mi wisp, these minions, so I'm being told to summon one here. This is optimal. It's very optimal to watch someone else get murdered instead of me. <laughs> I really like how this other guy's taking the shaft here. It's not optimal. We still have two points of Luma left over. It's time to play out. Watch things play out. So it's basically it was representing, if you saw the red things, it was representing the damage that we'd give and receive. And then we dealt a little damage to the enemy leader, but 
our Galdier uh, took some damage there. Calm yourself. Victory shall be mine. All right. So I'm gonna I'm I'm a smack of this guy with a hammer, and he die. And then we protect our top with this guy. Good turn. Since I have played the game a little bit, I do know what's going on. Although it was a crash course, I didn't know. I didn't know. I I taught I taught myself. They will outnumber us. We should focus on their leader. Okay. Okay, win the battle. Alright, so I am free. Alright, so I smack a you with the hammer. Then I make a guy on the bottom line. And, uh, next turn. The tutorial battle should be quite easy. Oh, I took a little damage. Okay, I shouldn't... Probably shouldn't have done that, I guess, but... I'm not sure... The leader health does carry over during the campaign, but I'm not sure if it'll do that during the tutorial. So, if things are the way they are... I stand to take one damage, one point of damage coming through here. So I smack at this guy with the hammer, and then we don't take damage, and I win the battle. Yes? Hooray! Alright, so you can see this game's a little bit like Magic the Gathering, and it's a little bit like Slay the Spire in the way that you choose new cards and things. I tap into Wellspring. <laughs> it is massive. Now his gauntlet is slightly larger than before. <laughs> He's got his gauntlet just keeps getting bigger. You ever you ever think of getting like a second an extra piece of armor? It actually did show him in better armor on the title screen when I looked at like so I guess he can get an armor upgrade, but I expect like what would you upgrade? Oh, uh, me gets bigger gauntlets and maybe one giant boots. <laughs> no, wait, bigger helmet. Giant helmet for headbutts. These furrows are not so dangerous. Let's eliminate them as quickly as possible. Positioning is the most important part of combat. Right now, the sarcophagus will take damage. Put the minion up at the top. You silly billy. Now, you can do the Echo, who damages an opponent in the mirrored position. So we put him here? Yeah, so it hurts that one. Got it. Aha! Feel the power of the Echoes of pain. The Echo is a complicated, complicated minion, slightly. Ooh, this guy's a wall. These wicked beasts mix between beast and machine. Yes. Release your rage, Galdir. No time for hesitation. Sanctus Oturi knows no fear. I think is what he said. Uh, I read that. That went over quickly. Okay. Behemoth. It's like a behemoth. A behemoth, I mean. Uh, so, whenever there are three of them on the battlefield, gain eight attack and eight hit points and corruption. And it weighs a lot, <laughs> is what it's also telling me as flavor text, I guess. Alright, so... I mean, I can let that go until there are three of them, really. What I could do is... Just put something in the way that soaks up the damage, so the stable mesh will go up there. That'll be kind of a waste to summon an echo, but... At the same time, if I want to use this, or well, yeah, put the echo right here. Yeah, that's the obvious thing to do. All right, perfect. That's what they intended you to do. Okay, so now it's getting concerning because there's two of them. They keep coming. Goddess, I was born for war. Okay, so if they keep doing this, they're gonna have a wall 
of these behemoths. Behem behemoths. Yeah, and that's not good. But damage carries over. So maybe I should just pile all my damage on or just make a wall to take less damage. But if I make a wall, they're going to get that plus eight. I, I, I guess I just got to hope that they don't have another one. Because that would be bad. And then I'll just start smacking this guy with the hammer. All right. I mean, that would be mean if they did that th this early, but... Okay, are they going to suggest some sort of solution for me? Those creatures are overwhelmed by the corrupted power of the, mo of the moon. They won't survive under its influence. Time to show them the true mites of the Alturi. The Arc Sarcophagus generates one energy per turn. You need one additional energy to activate the ultimate of my character, Golier. Some magicas generate additional energy. Okay. Perfect. Ah, okay. So this is the situation they wanted us... They cornered us into to show the usefulness of this triple stun ability. Yes, the Hand of Arcs. You are my weapon. Release your rage and show no mercy. Okay, so they're all stunned. And I guess corruption... Ah, the creature will be destroyed at the beginning of next turn. Okay, so they get like an overpower and then they all die. Well, cool. And then we stun them. I get it. Brilliant. And then just pile all the damage up in the center. I don't, I don't need to waste this hammer. And then we will just start destroying the leader in, in the future. Alright. Then all there's left to do is win the battle. Oh. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I broke the front line. It, it just... It, defeat them or something, if you wanted to read that. Well, too bad. I apologize. Alright, nice. I like how enemies get destroyed, or the leader just like... Uh, they die in like a pulse and like little... little flecks of light afterwards. Little fireflies. As clear as a freshwater pool. They are the hope of humanity. The moon is active today. I can feel her poisonous energy. She will attempt to stop us, but I have a plan. Buy Galdier sports drink. Buy Galdier spring water. As clear as a mountain pool. Ooh. You're just... Are you consume it as in, like, straight up eat that thing that came from a monster? Yeah, enjoy. That is, wise. We must is that wise? That is... Uh, that is very wise. I mean, you're protected by Yagu Dogma. You, you got all the dogs in the world. The Dogma, I mean. Wow, that's some deep stuff. You consume it and you get all the the experiences that it ever had. You become more experienced, you level up. I'm ready to consume Arcana cells. Okay, recalibrate the sarcophagus. Ah yes, okay, so it's upgrade tutorial even though I've done this before. Choose a thing. I like you because you generate Luma. Zarchi, Chiri. Goddess, during the ritual, I felt an unusual distortion of the Luma field, like an energy surrounding our enemy. I sense it as well, something big's about to happen. Celestial Tyrant is angry. Ah, the Moon King. It's the big baddie boss of the moon. 
I hate caterpillars, but especially hate predatory, levitating, mutant caterpillars. Some minions and magicas can generate shields, which protect you. This defensive drone, for example, will give us three shields. It only lasts for this particular round, but it's very useful for absorbing damage. Alright, that's it. Win the battle. Where are these? Okay, just a 1-1 one, one creatures. And these, 1-4s. Alright! So you generate mana every turn. And I like you. I'm going to put you there. And, well, I didn't really think about it. We're going to take some damage in the bottom lane. And I've got one mana left over. Well, that's fine. That, w this, that wouldn't be ideal during the campaign, though. Taking damage, because it carries over from battle to battle. Luma activity is above normal. Moonstorm incoming. Win the battle. Alright. We got four damage coming on this lane. Defensive drone would be perfect. And then also, I don't want this m Luma generator to die, so another defensive drone. Alright, and then I guess Echo would fit our budget perfectly. And I'll just murder... Well, I don't want... I don't want our hero to take... Well, no, our hero can take six damage. So I'll let him take one of those. And we'll do an echo right there. Alright, done. The moon has directly intervened to make the Furos stronger. Oh! I will concentrate on the leader. If that one falls, the pack will scatter. Script. Deal one damage to Arc. Arc's Furos. Wait. Deal one damage to Arc's. Furos leader gains one hit points. Ouch! How do I focus on the enemy leader when the battlefield is covered with enemy troops? Well, I guess that's... Okay. These guys only have one health, so the, the hammer is going to be useful here. On these guys, they're going to heal the enemy leader, and the enemy is pretty tough. I like how there's, like, battleships. Like, derelict spaceships in the background. It reminds me of, like, Uchiu Senkan Yamato. Uchiu Senkan Yamato. It's, like, down in the background. Okay. Furious is going to take one damage. He can survive. Two points of damage are going to come through the south. Don't like that one bit. Can reinforce that. And then I also... We're looking at two more damage on the leader because of these little baddies. So I'm going to have to smack him with hammers. Smack it. Alright, cool. So the leader is only going to take one damage from this little fawn. Have ourselves a little kill-a-thon. It's a... It's the only joke I got right now. It's a stretch of a joke. Those mutations channel life force into the leader. Yeah, it's not ideal. The situation. That's alright. Alright, an echo can help us out here. The echo is good for doing like a sieging precise form of damage, I see. When the front line is filled up. The enemy leader is just going to get tougher and tougher. But this is a situation they intended to put us in. In this scenario. Okay. Yeah, I want to keep our mana generator alive, so I'll put this guy up front. We'll take a little damage. But it's fine. Oh! Hey! You destroyed my mana generator! How about a helping hand from the Queen of Arcs? I'll take that green cutie myself. You deleted one of my guys! Alright, fine. Thanks for clearing the battlefield. Amara, how did you find us? Wasn't so difficult. The moon herself just released an insane amount of energy. That is the downside of power. The moon cannot hide its presence. Also, Galdir has never been good at stealth. Amara has her own ability that you can activate. Do it. It gives her three attack and three hit points. And she stabs the enemy with the highest hit point value. So she's going to go crazy red hair mode. 
She's gonna go Super Saiyan and slash someone. It's pretty cool. Glad to have you with us. Now let's just destroy the enemies. Go! Alright, area clear. So I get a bunch of currency that I can spend to upgrade myself uh, for the future runs by doing this prologue. The game expected me to do this and I skipped it, so that's another thing. No disrespect, but that fight would have been much easier had I been invited. Instead, I had to rush from the city and save your high to the last possible moment. Next time, Amara, please, it was our mistake. Uh, I am grateful to have your timely assistance. It was you who followed us. But I am glad to have a much po uh, such a powerful Oturi by my side. You have a plan? We're gonna march this way! Oh. Alright. Funny how your Sanctus strategies always end with charge blindly forward. Yep, that's it. Just rest see Oh, we gotta save Sophia. Who's our third? Third hero. Hold on. Let's use the meta cube to mutate this guardian into... I like the tactical drone because it's cheaper, and it has a script that continually generates shields. Although the scout drone making shields for every squad is quite influential. It comes in and puts uh, three shields down, six shields total. So, like, this, ba this guy is long-term... This guy is like the quick, short, like, powerful, short run. Hmm, I'm not sure, because sometimes having something good in the short term can help something like this guy that helps, is good long term, like, work out. It's, it's a tough choice, actually. I'm gonna go with Scout Drone. Because last time I went with the other one, and I had a hard time establishing myself in the first place to keep the script to continue executing. If that makes sense. Amara danced about the last staggering furies, masterfully piercing him with her rapier more than a dozen times before the final blow sent him to the ground with a reverberating crash. So she's got like the fast, super fast fighting style. So it's like the character who maxed out agility and the character who maxed out strength. You guys are totally min-maxing. You gotta... Well, okay, play to your strengths. <laughs> like, super, super speed. Her mental imprint is fading. We have approximately 1.932 hours before it is too late. I did like taking characters with rapiers or characters in games who could add, like, the craziest attack speed. It's, it's, it's always a lot of fun, actually. Or high rate of fire. Although going extreme like that, both of them, it's... Those kind of characters are fun. The extremes, I gotta say. So, Romoro, it's kind of like the uh, Three Musketeers kind of thing. Many is one. All for one. One for all. Furosakuma. Hybrid silicon life form. Don't be fooled by their appearance. They react to motion and go stronger with every minion we put on the field. Ah, okay. Precise calculation. I do have trouble with those guys sometimes. These kind of opponents. But they lose one hit point every time we summon a minion. So the idea is to summon very high-end, powerful minions. Like this guy, who costs four. And then slap him with a hammer. Because that doesn't cost a thing. Or that doesn't power him up at all. Beautiful. Good first turn. And what's this? Careful. This one reacts to Magicka. 
Furrows often prioritize Ulturi with low hit points. Right now, Armada, Amara is in danger of being knocked out. Amara, take cover. Don't worry. I'm an architect. or. architectus. I'm an architectus. Kinetic shell. Wait, what does it say it'll do? Gain one attack and protection, set to points to one. So, immunity to a single source of damage. Got it. Alright then. And that's going to power them up, but it doesn't matter. Because she's going to be immune to a source of damage. She's going to take one hit entirely, I guess. Yes? Or does it mean one source of damage is just like one of them? I'm a little confused about that, but hey. Because it looks like we still stand to take ten hit points of damage. And she's... But she's not going to die. Okay. Because it sets her hit points to one. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Alright, well, I'll put a mana generator down here. That thing's gonna die. Then if I summon another thing, that thing's hit points will be down to one, and the echo can kill it. Right? Yeah, so I'll echo kill this one. Beautiful. Alright, that was a good move. Yeah, our leader took 8 damage, but Amara couldn't die because of the shell. We're outnumbered. We have to retreat. No. Overload my sarcophagus and I'll show them the might of the ancients. Energy can be used to overload the Ark's sarcophagus to devastating effect. We'll fire the rage cannon to deal 4 damage to all enemy creatures and 8 damage to our leader. Accumulate 8, eight energy and make that happen. I know, we can win the fight. I'm doing pretty good. I made a lot of good choices. Alright, fine. Runic energy. Alright, so... These two stand to die. I gotta do the kinetic shell up there. That's like... What we're supposed to do. Let's see... As far as what's happening on the bottom. I can echo damage that guy. Although I don't necessarily see the point of that. And this guy gains three damage till the end of turn upon summoning. I don't know, just th throw some Nagas down there. I'm just, I just... I really, I really don't know at this point. Yeah, just bull rush to the bottom. That works. Focus on energy accumulation. I'm working on it. Alright, more energy. Yeah, she's still in danger of dying. Oh, these two are only dealing two potential damage up there. So... But, it's every minion I summon... It's going to increase that. Okay, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll put on the shell again. It's going to make this guy angry, but then we can do the echo kill on this guy. And away we go. We'll take two damage on the bottom. Okay, seven energy. Let's do it. Oh, eight energy. Nice. There it is. Witness my rage. Witness me. Witness my power. Oh, yeah. It hits the enemy leader, too. All right. And then we just kill their leader. Hooray. Witness my plasma ball coming from the face of my leader and hitting the face of your leader. Alright, 
Wow, she got amped up. She's all angry and stuff. The moon attempted to directly influence the battle. She's all <laughs> she's got rage cannon rage. She's all she's all hepped up from the rage cannon. Because she needs to clear up. Alright, she's coming down now. The rage cannon makes you a little crazy for a while. It's just just a side effect. Well, that's not good. Wow, she gets like, she she gets a bit uh, haughty about things with him. She's uh, yeah, she's a bit stuck up about things or whatever. She's. Or talking down to Galdir, because he's a meathead. It's like that typical dynamic. Yeah, what do you think psychic torture is? She was saying, I will not. I will not. What is it? Like, a join us kind of situation? W were the Teletubbies asking her to frolic in the fields? I will not. <laughs> no. <laughs> what What kind of thing, you know, was it like terrible music? Was it a sing-along? Was it, I will not. I don't know. Were they trying to... Wait. Right, it's not the idea. Okay, so they were torturing her instead of killing her because they wanted the information that she had. It was an interrogation, and they wanted her to embrace the moon in the darkness and death. And, uh, yeah, maybe she would become one of them. She didn't want to become one of the, the loonies. That's what it is. It's lunacy. You're going all loony, lunatic. That, these are words we get from the moon, making people crazy. You're going moon mad. It's the moon madness making you all loopy. I will not. I will not do that. Oh, right. I was thinking of, like, more joke scenarios of what you'll not do. I'll not. I will not put pineapple on my pizza. No. <laughs> Or other stupid things. I'll not... I will not enjoy the dank memes. No. I'm too old. I won't dab. No. I will not. <laughs> dab. <laughs> That's like so stupid things. All these things I won't do. No. I will not. I won't wear the socks with the sandals. I'm fashionable. 
do it. <laughs> Alright, I'm having too much fun with that. What now? Uh, the Vittori was silently moving her arms in weird, intricate gestures. She finally spoke. I sense the mental, 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 mental signature of Furos, Furos Delecti here beneath our feet. I'll set up a secure perimeter. We should run a detailed scan. The Sanctus already have us have in motion, are already in motion, but Amara interrupt, interrupted him at once, or he was already in motion. No need. I've located three access points. Sophia's right. There's a sizable furrow structure just beneath us, but it seems to be empty. Children, we must investigate this structure. Enter it and investigate. Arx's tone made it plain that there would be no further discussion. The Volturi crept cautiously through the empty halls and corridor corridors of the Furos. I can, I can yet see their shadows here, Sophia said hes he hesitantly. This complex was swarming with the enemy less than an hour past, and one of them was an unusual new type of Furos Telecti. Finally, the team reached a huge chamber of unfamiliar devices. Numerous chains and racks of biological samples. Near the ceiling were many small windows of unusual material which focused, focused the lights. The room was bright with the amplified beams of the moon. Oh, holy sun! The blood drained from Sophia's face. Something terrible happened in this place. A wicked experiment conceived by the archenemy herself. Tears streaked down the old Utori's lined face. This is where she created... Furos Delecti, an abomination fused together from Furos, beasts, trees, and even humans. She even used... Sophia self fell silent. She would not reveal the smallest part of knowledge she had been forced to surrender while captured. Something the enemy had masterfully applied in de designing this new type of Furos. Amara broke the silence. However terrible it seems, I'm certain we can chase down and kill this thing. And on the positive side, we have the rare opportunity to study intact. Furos Lab. Don't waste a moment. Gather whatever samples you can ca we can carry. Were it up to me, I'd burn this place to ashes and continue our mission. Galdir's voice, amplified by his helmet, echoed across the empty room. Do not forget that to Terry, it was to risk our minds being infected by the Furos virus. Stay in Glean, or it's too dangerous. Ulturi upgrade. Luma Arx hit points plus ten. Two Luma Parasite added to Arcana. Two Luma Parasites. What are Luma Parasites? Let's stay in Glean. I want to find out what Luma Parasites are. I'm not going anywhere until we can learn until we learn what we can from this lab. If that scares you, you may re you may return to Arx. Our Amara was already deploying research drones while the others started gathering samples in less than an hour. In an hour, less than an hour, the job was done, and the data was sent back to the city. We can upgrade one of our heroes. This is something I've never done. Choose a new ability that best suits your playstyle. Okay. Draw one additional power at the beginning of every turn. That's pretty cool. Whenever Amara takes damage, she gains attack. Galdir moves one position forward on the battlefield and gains two hit points. Is that whenever... Is that whenever they use their powers, or always? So he... Oh, so you can hide something behind him. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, I could put a, mo I could put a money generator behind him. But one additional power at the start. These two seem really... I'll take the, I'll take the straightforward Galdir one. Oh, and then the final blow, sending his hit points to 8, is also really cool. Whenever a character or arcs activates ultimate... Galdir regenerates five shields in his squad. Or generates, I mean. Okay. It was not hard to track. This fiend radiates power. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. But first, we need to decide which route. Two meta cubes or one upgrade of uh, an Alturi. The Alturi upgrade is really powerful. Wise choice. The queen is ready. All right, let's go. I have 50 hit points. I feel like I didn't have as many max hit points when I chose the other scenario, but I'm not sure. <laughs> the main game. Okay. Oh, it was a mistake to stay in the Furos lab for so long. We caught some, some kind of virus, which has corrupted our arcana. The virus is a known type easily fixed when we return to the city. 
Okay, Luma Parasites. Initiation. Increase Luma cost of a random in power in random power in hand by two. Well that's fine, I don't have to play this card. I mean it takes up my spots in my hand, but that's not so bad. Although it could be annoying once you get full hand your handful or whatever. One damage to all creatures in that squad. Well, I feel like they're giving me this for obvious reasons. Oh right, I didn't read their thing. Okay, so that those fungaris also go in your hand when you kill them. They're annoying. That's okay, we can get them out of our hand by deploying them. You now work for me. Oh yeah, this... These kind of enemies are kind of annoying because they put their troops in your hands. Muso. Script. Deal one damage to your leader for each Fungari you have in your hand. Ah, that's why we want to get these Fungari out of our hand immediately. There we go. No damage to our leader. Consume shields. Destroy shields. Up to three shields in the squad. Until the end of the turn, target minion gets plus two attack for each shield destroyed. Ah, convert shields to attack. Interesting. I think... Or I could smack something with a hammer. Or I could draw new cards. I'll just I'll just smack something with a hammer, I guess. Alright. This is what I really like about Sophia. Uh Poros Somatic. Very tricky to deal with. Their tactic is to infect the mind and slowly corrupt our arcana. Yeah. So what we can do is we can alter future, discard our hand and draw new powers and gain one Luma, whenever we get too many of these Fungari in our hand. So we're not going to use her power just yet, but we can use Sophia's power, which is cheap, it only costs three, and it gives us a Luma, which I think is a pretty cool power. Though the other powers are much more influential. You have to save up for them, though. Requires more discipline to reach that. Okay, so... We can do the Barrage... Just smack one with a hammer. We're gonna get some Fungari in our hand, so we want to get rid of these guys. Yeah, I'll just I'll just do this. It's a little awkward, but I'll spend all my mana destroying those guys. And uh, I guess I'll just draw more cards. I just have extra mana, so why not give myself more more options? Okay, so now we have more garbage in our hands. Sophia's ultimate can help you if you get stuck with powers. Or you need more Luma. And yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Cool. Alright. Now she she's going to get killed, so... We need to put something in front. Or give her the kinetic shell, maybe? Ah, but my leader will take damage. I don't like that. I don't like my leader taking damage. Alright, it deals three damage. If I put Aetherius in front of her, she won't take any damage. Well, I'll do the Luma Parasite in front. Just because... It's, it's gonna... I'm not gonna use the Consume Shields anyways, is what I was thinking. Whichever one it, pow it increased the cost of, I was not gonna use. Alright. And I'll save the other one, too. Alright, fair enough. Now, I'm wondering if I could lose the tutorial. It makes it seem like you could actually lose the tutorial, potentially. Ah, so now I don't actually have enough cards to act on entirely. Well, except for I could alter future. Do that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and kill these two. It's like they dig into the ground and dig into your deck. Ooh. Alright, I'll alter my future and get them out of my hand. 
and uh, then I'll just generate more energy and draw more cards. Beautiful. Because I'm not sure, but I think even if you kill the Fungari during that, like, fight bit, this will activate. Does the, the ability activate after you kill the Fungi and then it gets into your hand, or does this activate and then that? I don't know about the order of operations, but I'm trying to keep them out of my hand so I don't take any leader damage if possible. Although this might be a good opportunity to learn things. It's not quite time for the scout drone. Gotta get this sucker out of my hands. Alright, got two volatile barrages. I'll do the Naga up top. Everybody do the Naga! Get this parasite out of my hand. Oh, I, that's right. I was going to do Alter Future to get it out of my hand. Oh, well. well that works, too. Then, like, smack this guy with a hammer. Sure. We actually won't use abilities this turn. Although, actually, I could have. That's right. I'm going to kill. I took one damage. No. And Gauntlet Guy had to kneel down. I, sh I should have used my ability. One artillery upgrade. What have I done? I took a scratch. Let's take a quick rest. I, I had to sit on my knees on that fight. I don't like sitting on my knees. Alright, well we'll get an upgrade for Galdir so that when he goes down, he doesn't go down. He just... Just gets funky and goes to town. <laughs> Alright. Let's fight this thing. And then this tutorial mini-campaign will be complete. I can sense the Fioros direct the Lecti nearby. Let's warm up on his brothers. Let's do it. Alright. So... Naga here. And then... I guess do the defensive drone, sure. And I could absorb the shields and turn into more attack power, yes! You'll get killed, but who cares? Consume the shields! Your attack power is immense! Super Naga go. Rawr. 14 damage. Nice. That worked out. My sensors are picking up the Delecti signature. It's an intelligent platform about 3 meters tall with psionic abilities. Nothing special. I have seen into its heart, Amara. Hungry, treacherous, and ruthless. Alright, well, the battle's going well, so... I'm not extremely worried, but we'll see when it shows up. How bad it truly is. Should I get this parasite out of my hand? Sure, whatever. Ooh, I was hoping it wasn't the echo. Oh well. The enemy leader's down to 9 health. Whatever this thing, it better be insane. Oh, okay, that is insane. It just covered the enemy, the field and enemies. Heroes Del Del Delecti Kiri. Gain one attack for each turn. Until the end of turn for each power played. Fish is succulent. Hungry for luma and blood. Poor soul, what has she done to you? Subdue your emotions, it's time to uproot this weed. There is no time for chat. Stay behind me and focus on the fight. Alright. So, we don't want to use special powers. Oh, this guy's super expensive. Ah. Well, that's... I don't want to use special powers. But... The Volatile Barrage does work pretty well here. So maybe just doing that once here. Just to clear things up there. And then unleashing this Naga up there. That'll be my plan of attack for now. So it's luckily Galdir is in the middle where the boss is, so... And we don't actually have to beat the boss. 
We just have to beat the enemy leader. Okay, I'll throw out the scout drone. And then alter my future. Cool. Right, I don't want to use special powers. Oh, echo counts? Oh, a power is anything. Right, a power is anything. It's not just a... Not just like a magic or a summon. They're all powers. All my cards are powers. I forgot. So if anything, I want to focus on playing the most powerful cards I can. And not play a lot of cards. Big and decisive. That's how we want to keep it. Okay, we don't care about the Fungari in our hands right now. I'm going to say it's okay to let the enemy get a little bit more angry. Although, I want to save this one because it'll be down to one and uh, Galdir can come back once per fight, so I want him to take damage down to one health. And then, it doesn't matter how much he damage he takes. Oh, we just won. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I just defeat the enemy leader. That's a long time. I'm not sure if there are any... I'm not sure if there are any consistent civilizations or empires that have lasted that long. Have... have they? I'm not sure. It's a long time in history. Are you still writing those cute little poems? Uh, don't forget to mention how we defeated the Furos Delecti. My friend, we defeated just one. There are many others. All goaded forward by the relentless moon. We must regroup and plan our next mission. Once again, the old Tore returned victorious, renewing the people's hope. As long as humanity has the power to fight back, there is yet a possibility to reclaim what is ours. Many years of sacrifice and many difficult battles lay ahead. But today, Ark celebrates victory. Hooray for Arks. Hooray for the city. We have defeated a thing. Thank you for playing! Oh, okay. You're welcome. <laughs> it makes it sound like we're done with the whole game. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. Thank you for playing. You're welcome. All right. So now I get to spend this currency I earned in the previous video in this one where I can research new things that will appear. I can unlock new... Okay, so like, for example, I can upgrade... Currently I can upgrade the aggressor into the aggressor 2 or something else that I haven't unlocked yet. So I unlock new upgrades and new things. And there's a lot of cards I haven't unlocked, so... The first one costs one. I get the deep quaints. Or quants. Deep quants, I mean. Script Recall. So it goes back to your hand, deals one damage to the enemy leader. Interesting. Oh, and it's free? Oh. That's actually pretty cool. I like the idea of a free card. Cannon bots. Generate new Luma bot minion in hand. And it's also a Luma bot. That seems kind of, kind of cool. Because the Luma bots are a thing that kind of goes out of control. It powers up. Luma bots power up from more with Lu more Luma bots around. Tank bot. One hit point for every Luma bot on the field. Whereas this one will generate you more Luma bots. It's like a Luma bot factory. So Luma bots have some potential. Oh, I've never had a Remoro monk. Gain protection. Alter in the squad gain attack and hit points. And an officer does that even more so. Whenever allied minion summoned remote royal officer takes one damage. Gain protection when he comes out. Interesting. Alright, so the next time it costs five for another new unlock, we get 
Soul Compost. Gain three Luma for each allied minion on the battle... On the battle... Wait. For each al allied minion on the battlefield, destroy all allied minions. Diffusive. Sounds useful, but strange. This power can only use once during the battle. So that's useful if you have a bunch of minions that cost less than four Luma and or are about to die. In my opinion. Like creatures you've already gotten the use out of. Or if you had like a ton of Luma bots or that, that, that unit that costs zero. Imagine you put out that unit that costs zero that will go back to your hand but instead you sacrifice it. Interesting little combos. Deep defense. Generate five shields. Sometimes defense can keep you alive for the campaign. Just sometimes surviving lets you generate the energy to turn the tide, but it's hard to say, so that could help. Stun all creatures in the squad. Diffusive. I kind of like diffusive cards. Because they don't, like, clutter your deck too much. Alright, and then if I do this one, we get another 25 points and we get two unlocks. Story about the new Architectus Ulturi, Heroism, and Monstrosity, and the Burden of Truth. Alright, so yeah, I did the I did the prologue so I could unlock this and unlo unlock the new character, because I, I want to do that. So un let's unlock that new character, too. The roots of my ancient form extend far beyond the city's walls. Maintenance missions are vital, yes, but also dangerous. This one was no exception. In the middle of the second shift, a huge swarm of Furus Mastro uh, Ma Mavrosi de descended upon the construction site. The assault had been well planned and completely bypassed by past our sensors. Our only hope was the Alturi, Sophia, and Galdir, those who stand between the Furus and what's left of humanity. Furus, Galdir, we must defend the civilians. The city guard has already deployed reinforcements. They should arrive at any time. A monks. Form up the front line. Alright, so yeah, we have a bunch of Romero monks. I haven't used those before, but now we have. Or now we have. Or now we now we know what they are. Now we're using them. Wow, this is a big guy. He looks kind of monstrous. He kind of looks like a lunar monster, if you ask me. This Tartalo. Tartalo. Ulturi in the same squad gain hit points when Tartalo is here. Never fear. Lunar Converter. Deals two damage to arcs. But, ah, okay. So it's like you're using your leader's energy. It only costs one as a 3-3. Three, three. Interesting. Interesting self-sacrificing card. Leader sacrifice to gain the edge. So Roma Law. Target minion gains attack. Till the end of turn. Romaro tactic. Reduce an enemy's attack by one permanently. I'll do that to this behemoth. Then we'll do a mana generator up top. Then, uh... I'll do plus three attack for uh, this guy, I guess. Apparently got an achievement called Combo Master for that. I don't know why. I feel like the fact that we had... Uh... Oh, I think it's because I used protection and... No, I'm not sure why. It doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't really matter. That's a lot of doggies. It's a lot of moon doggies up top. Alright, so the monks are going to fall. If I summon a Tartalo. Oh, well, yeah, now do Echoes. Or actually, Echoes would be better on this line, right? But I wasn't really thinking about that situation. Because this guy's got protection, so he's going to absorb all that, but. Well, not entirely. I would get to my, my Luma generator. Oh, well, it's fine, whatever. My mind's all over the place. Yet more Furos are pro approaching our position. This is a full-scale assault. Goddess, are we within range of the city artillery? Yes. You may use Luma charges for targeting. 
Arcs Barrage. Five damage to target minion. Oh, these are... Arcs Barrages are amazing. I want to get a bunch of those in my deck. All right. Sealed guy up top. The Arcs Barrages could take, help take down these uh, Beemoses. Enemies of humanity, suffer my holy wrath. Okay. That way we can prevent the Beemoses from going out of control. Then, uh... I want to prevent dam I want to prevent Galdir from going down. But I don't want... Remember, the Arthurius... No, an Arthurius wouldn't survive there. Hmm. How am I going to handle this? I could do two Luma converters, or just put down Arthurius. I'll just put Arthurius... Fine, I'll let Galdir go down. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We don't need Galdir. Oh no, I am on my knees. I will sit out the rest of this battle on my knees. But I do have a giant gauntlet. Okay, that's fine. We don't need you. We got this... This robot. So, can the Tartalo, like, revive a dude? Okay, we're gonna lose someone here, so... Let me see what else you can give me, Sophia. Okay, the Echo guy. Put him down. Remoro tactic. Do that the behemoth thingy. Cool. We'll summon more, ch or we'll get more choices. Alright, and I guess I'll have to do some Luma Converters, so... Because we're going to take 5 damage here, it makes a lot of sense to... Just get myself some pain up front. And reduce the pain I take overall. There we go. Alright, we're getting 8 income a turn, so... That feels pretty good. And we just have to survive for three more turns, so. Put a Tartalo here. He's a good good defensive wall. We'll do an Echo there. Alright, we're gonna lose one of our generators, but it's alright. Okay, just gotta survive two more turns. I'll put a Luma Converter here. It's a shame putting a Tartalo in a place where there's no uh, hero behind him, but I want to keep my Luma Generators online. Oh boy, the Beemos is went off. We don't have any stunning. Oh god, they got three Beemoses. Did they summon the other two this turn? I think they did, yeah. That's not very nice. Ooh, I'm looking at 17 points of damage. But all we have to do is survive this turn, so we got it. Technically, we're already good. <laughs> We reduced it down to 13 damage. Oh, right, I didn't see that ability. We reduced it down to 9 damage. Alright. Oh, and I got Combo Ninja. Ah, nice. And we did clear the battlefield. Alright, win the battle. 
Well, that's easy. You just gave me a battlefield full of troops. I can't even do anything now, can I? Yeah. I have no choice but to win the battle. <laughs> I couldn't lose if I tried. They took prisoners this time. We have to pursue and quickly. I sense multiple human auras moving southeast. Leave the city guard to finish securing the site. We must save our people. Two meta cubes and an arcana cell. All right. So, what's this guy? A soul deals two damage to the enemy leader. Two one deals two damage. That's not bad. Draw two powers. Or reduce. But reducing an enemy's damage by one permanently is actually really cool too. I'm gonna take the Romero tactic. I've grown fond of it. I used to underestimate it, but. And then I'll turn it into the Romero strategy. Evolve it. Then, uh. Oh! Altheria 7. Generate 2 mana on a script. But it is weaker. Doesn't cost any more, though. Altheria 7. Alright, that's good, good power. Good potential. The beasts split up into two groups. There's only one sarcophagus, so we must stay together. I'll command a city guard detachment to pursue the second band. City health and an extra card in hand. Remove two powers. Mutate a power. Extra card in hand. I'll take the top path and remove two powers from my hand. Removing can be quite useful if you have a strategy. Ooh! That's a scary looking enemy. We have to shield the prisoners. Use the power from my sarcophagus to defend the humans, my child. A human prisoner just trapped in a bubble. Creepiness. Alright. So there's two enemy funguses. Fungus. That I want to deal with. Rather than deploy a defensive drone, I'll do an echo strategy. And then I want to immediately get this Fungari out of my hand. So I'll just play it. And then I'll just play the draw extra cards. Alright. Wait, win the battle, prisoners must survive? Oh, shit. Um, what does that mean? Like, if I destroy this, the prisoner will survive, right? I gotta, like... Because if I have to, like, prevent myself from killing this... That ain't gonna be easy. Like, Galdir's beaten on it every turn. That means uh, that I, my time limit is very short. If I hope that's really not the case, because... If so, I might have messed up already. These guys have three attack power. That's annoying. If I did you Romero tactic on that, would it go to negative one? I heal you now. I don't think so. So I could beef up your attack power, and it could kill that. But my leader would take damage. Two damage. Whereas I take two damage anyways if I summon this, so. Guess we'll just summon that. Done. And I'll use the Romero tactic to degrade the, this sucker. Sure. Alrighty then. So the top lane is fairly safe. I'll put Altherius 7 up there. We'll start generating some real mana. Or Luma, I should say. We're looking at one damage in the bottom lane. So I'll do that. And we'll see how this plays out. System failure defeat. I killed the prisoner. Thankfully the game lets me restart right here. 
Okay, so yeah, uh, if this were, if I was playing the single player game, or I mean the, the normal game, it wouldn't let me restart. The, my run would be over. But since this is a special mission, since this is uh, since this is a quest, it lets me restart here and now, which is very very nice and fair, I would say, because it didn't make it clear that for the prisoner to Gall dear, why can I tell you to like not beat on that human in a capsule? Then it seems like popping the capsule would like free him and make him survive, but no, that is not the path to survival. Clearly, clearly that is not. All right, a theory is seven. All right, so we do not want to put troops on this lane. I just want to put defenders at all costs. All right, I'll get the Fungari out of my hand. Or the Romero. Oh yeah, Romero strategy. Oh, I could do it. Oh, oh, Romero tactic. Do it to yourself, Caldier. No. Romero strategy then. I'd use the whole Romero strategy. Why couldn't I use the Romero tactic on Galdir? I don't know. But yeah, use that. Now Galdir won't beat on the prisoner. Ah, oh, that's what they wanted you to do. Tricky. Alright, put up your shields. I want to protect the mushroom thing. We got two points of damage coming in at the top. What can we do to mitigate this? I'll Romero tactic this. Put Aetherius up here. Aetherius is gonna die though. Both the Aetheriuses are gonna die. Is there something I can do about that? Not really, unless I do Luna converters. So I'll do those. And then I'll do the Saroma Law on it, just to crank things up another notch. Alright. Doing some heavy damage to the enemy leader, but my arcs took some damage too. Not ideal. But that's the strategy of the deck I've been given. Okay, I definitely want to do Alter Future in a moment. Because I do not like what I'm seeing. I do not like this future that I am seeing. I very much want to alter it. Alright. Alter the future! That's more like it. Yeah. Put one of these guys. Put a Tartalo in front of, in front of uh, Sophia there. That'll save her. We're getting nine Luma a turn. We'll be fine now. Okay, I'll just do the echo strategy there. Get this stupid fungus out of my hand. I could guess I could Romero strategy this section. Yeah, why not? Get more cards in my hand. Alright. I could Romero tactic as well, but that's not really that helpful at the moment. Okay, put another Tartalo here. Then, uh... See, I'll use the strategy. Put out a Fungari. I could beef up... I, or I could do a Luma Converter, but I can win this without it taking damage. Let's keep rolling things along. Tartalo. Do the strategy. Alter the future. Okay, we see one point of damage coming in there. Doesn't matter, we got this. Just just put out things. Just summon things. There we go. Echo done. 
Battle 7. Every turn is a battle. And the battle will be won. Okay, we gotta get these out of our hand. I don't wanna- I won't, don't want my leader to take damage, so we'll just summon a bunch of fungi this turn. There's not much else we can do, really. Alright, good enough. We win! Alright, we get to remove two cards. Honestly, the Saroma Law is what I'm thinking of getting out of my deck. I kind of like the potential of the Quants. Although the Aetherius is really cool. Got enough Aetherius power. I'll take the Quants. Remove two cards. Oh, I see. Last time I messed it up because I only clicked one and then went remove. Ah, uh, you need to click two. Okay, so, both the Samoro Laws? Or Saroma Laws? Sure, I need no laws! I do not want laws. We have no need for such things. We are a well-behaved society. We s I need a little time to dispatch survivors back to the city. The first group is safe, and I'm sure they'll be glad to be reunited with their families. I wish I could remember my family. You're still young, you have time to build a family of your own one day. I see, so he can't remember. Amnesia. The oldest plot choice in the- or plot thing in the book. Alright. It's fine, you'll bash on the human prisoners a bit. A Zess. Whenever a Zess is destroyed, gain one energy. Have a little bit of nice lemon Zess. It'll spice up your day. It's delicious. I start my day with lemon Zess. Manga. Decrease Luma cost of all magical powers by one. Increase the cost of all minions by one. Carnivorous Flora. Capable to twists... Capable to twists the fabric on the Luma field. What is this foul creature? I've never seen such a furos before. Beware, it's warped. All right, we'll, you'll find it harder to summon minions. I sense it too. It almost seems it will be much easier to use my magicka powers during this fight. Alright. Well, use your Romero tactic for free and... Right, you can't use that on yourself. I, I kind of want to know what happens if I use it on the prisoner. Use it on the prisoner! Aha! Minus one attack. <laughs> its attack has been increased by one. Now, instead of zero, it, it does zero. That was a waste of time, but I just, I wanted to know. I did a science. I just had to know. It was... Alright. Use my other magicka powers. Alright, and then it'll die. And I'll save the rest. I don't want to use the Luma bots yet. The Luma converters. Ah, what's this sucker? Whenever Shibo is destroyed, all other Shibos on the battlefield are also destroyed. Gotcha. They're tough, but they're linked. Okay, I'll do the quant here. And our theory is there. We're going to be losing a bunch of troops. But it's fine. We'll get rid of that flower. I could alter the future right now, but I don't see the need to. We can also do the stunning punch. To stun three enemy creatures. So I could stun all the enemies on the battlefield. That actually seems very advantageous. Yeah, stun all the enemies on the battlefield, Goldir. Then, uh... The enemy is not going to summon many troops in front of Goldir because he's the healthiest lane. They want to push the not healthy lane. So if I put Altherius 7 here, that'll be A-OK. -okay. Oh, crap, it stunned the human prisoner. I didn't think about that. Okay, fine. Echo creature in front of Altherius there. 
Didn't think about that. My theory is it's going to be at one hit point. Still was an effective move, but I didn't think... Didn't, uh... The human prisoner didn't register. Crap, if I could only kill this one. They protected themselves well. If I could only kill this one, we could kill the, the others. All the other Shibos on the battlefield. That is annoying. Alright, well, I'm just going to reduce your attack power then. Maybe I should reduce these two. Sure. Okay. Should I use it like that? I'm not sure. Oh, crap. I could have used the shell ability. Oh, wait. Shell is just diffusive and for a minion? I thought it was like the other ability. Okay. That the other character was using earlier. I seem to be a bit confused. Well, put a big guy in front of uh, the old lady. And then, uh, whoops. I messed up. We're going to lose the Aetherius and take three damage. Okay, fine. Whatever. We're going to lose both our Aetheriuses. And take some damage. Alright, can we get an Echo? I would really like an Echo. That would solve all my problems. Yes, an Echo! Solves all my problems. Take that. Die, all Shibos! The power of Echo consumes you. Alright, that was perfect. Okay, that zest behind the enemy is annoying. Not much I can do about that right now. The heck with it. I'll do a Luma Converter just to fight this enemy. I don't like this situation. Just beat on the enemy leader. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's like these are like power Luma Gauntlets. Because like the other... The other character had one as well, Amara. Ah. Well, there's one of those flowers on the field making everything more expensive. I can do a shell here. Protect my boys there. I can do a defensive drone there, but I'm not sure I want to. Defensive drone only does one damage. Sure, defensive drone. It's going to hurt the prisoner a little, but just a little. And then do a quant there. Maybe I should have done the quants up top. I'm not sure. Okay, now we can do the Romero strategy. Power these guys down a bit. Do this for free. Do that for free. Oh yeah, that doesn't really help the damage getting through though. Guess I'll put a quant there. Or do I... Maybe I should do the Altheria 7 for 5. Instead. Yeah, we'll do that for 5. It'll just tank the damage. Those flowers are being annoying. Let's see, how should I handle this? Defensive drone here. I could shell for free. Then we'll alter the future. Then help me as much as I'd like. So I'll do an Altherius down here. Alright, we're getting those flowers out of the picture. Okay, we'll use a Romero tactic for free on the bottom lane. That is troublesome. Oh, crap. The Otherius is one damage. Ooh, that human prisoner is getting really low health.
See, the top lane's getting destroyed. So we can do some defense up there. Oh, I can echo and get that rid of that flower right now. Beautiful. And then I can throw out a Quants. And, uh... We don't have any damage getting through yet. I could, I'll just throw out a Luma Converter, it's fine. I'll get rid of those Shibos. And they're back. Frickin' Shibos. We can't get any damage through these top lanes. Now the bottom lane is open. Okay, if I do the Remuro strategy down there, we'll keep the bottom lane safe. I'll ask for help to get new cards. Put a Tartalo here to keep my only hero, Sophia, safe. We'll play a Shell here. Wait, that didn't really help, did it? And, uh, we're done. Very effective that we're just spreading out our damage equally. Very helpful for the opponent. Okay, I'll play an Echo here. I'll play a Quant there. I'll do the Romero tactic. Well, no, we'll do... we'll get more cards. I'll put a Aetherius on the bottom. No, no, don't do that! No! 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 I didn't mean to do that! Oh god! Damn it, I just killed the human prisoner! Altherius has one to attack! Ah, uh, cancel, undo, no! Fuck, after 12 turns. You killed the human prisoner, you must restart. Dead. Aw, oh, come on! Defeat. Try again! I had that battle. I had that battle, I was just taking too long because I didn't want to take much damage, and instead... God... I hate this prisoner nonsense. Alright. A new battle. Whole new thing. Put up a guardian here. Right, there is there. We'll draw extra cards. Maybe I'll just get better luck. It's fine. Whatever. Okay, yes. Been through this text before. Slightly annoyed. Alright, so how am I going to handle this? I'll put you up here. Put a Theorus 7 down there. Okay, I can't use a Romero tactic on my own unit, Galdir, there. That's kind of an issue. I want to disarm the enemies in this lane, though, so I'll start disarming the enemy in that lane. I'll take a Tartalo up top. Alright. Switch my fate. Romaro strategy. Beautiful. Now the human prisoner is safe from my troops that I can't command. Then I'll put a Quant in front here. And I gotta give you a shell. So you don't get, no, I'll give you a shell so you don't just die, because Altheris 7 is more important. Okay. Okay, that works. Okay, do the Romero strategy again. Get that enemy's attack power down. I can do a shell to save the life of this Tartalo up top. So I guess I'll do that. Then another Tartalo, please, maybe. No, it's too late. I should have done that earlier. Uh, just, yeah, do an Echo. Do an Echo, damage this guy. 
And then I could do a Luma Converter. Just do a goddamn Luma Converter, it's fine. Just get rid of that flower, it's annoying. Okay, I like how this is going a bit more. I want to summon our Aetherius at the bottom, but it's a bad idea. That's what happened last time. Okay, Tartala up front. Or up top. All those Shibos are gonna die. Put Aetherius up there. And sadly, our Aetherius 7 is gonna get crushed. But that's okay. Cost of do doing business here. Alright, I'm going to protect my Arthurus with a defensive drone. Then I'm going to alter the future. Oh, beautiful. Then we can use a Romero tactic to make the bottom lane safe. Good. I don't have to reinforce it or screw things up. Just leave it as is. Put an Echo up front. Get ourselves some more cards. Put a Quant there. Alright. This is going, this fight's going much better now. Got it all figured out. Yeah, we'll just completely disarm you with the Romero strategy. Put out the Quants. Uh, you gonna die? Yep, so I'll give you the shield that will defuse. And that's good. The Amulator's got 9 health left. We got this. Okay, Altheria 7 doesn't do any damage, so I can put him in the bottom lane safely. Then, uh, oh, that's it, because there's two flowers. Okay, but I can save your life and save your life. There we go. Alright, and this, this should be it. This is where the final blows are dealt. Give me new cards. I'll Romero attack this guy at the bottom, although I'm just going autopilot because I don't really need to do that right now. Save Altheria 7. Alright. But my. Sophia has 10 health now. Alright, we're getting two damage through here. We'll just focus damage on that lane. Fine, just take some damage. It's fine, whatever. I just want to win this fight on this turn. I'll take I'll take two liter damage for that. Good God. I think this is the last battle of this scenario anyhow, so... Doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> Area clear, thank goodness. Oh no, that's right, we have one more battle to go. I actually legitimately have to go to the bathroom, but... I can hold it for one more fight. Starting hand one, Arcana Cell one. Let's do this. Alright, so... More Romero. I really like the Romero tactic. I underestimated it before, but a permanent damage loss can make a lane entirely secure. And that's beautiful. It can sabotage the enemy by making their... You can disarm enemies and keep them on the battlefield, making the enemy's troops a detriment to them, as they're, like, space holders. Mother, I sometimes... Uh, mother, sometimes when I am harvesting energy from the cells, I see visions of the past. Those are memories of the furrows. No, I see myself. Perhaps my lost memories are returning. Is it possible that I one day will be able to recall my childhood, my parents? Do not dwell on these longings for what you have lost. The past is dead and the future we are all building is all that matters. You always give me wise counsel, mother. I will think on your words. Also, your past is really horrible. You're actually one of the moon people and you're destroying your friends, so I really don't want... So I, I'm starting to wonder if Galdir's past is something that Ark doesn't want him to remember. Oh, remember how you're the enemy? Oh, and, and we brainwashed you? Oh, right, crap. I shouldn't be on your side. The enemy is pursuing some new stratagem. This entire action is, was carefully planned. He does wear a mask, Galdir. Makes me wonder. You are right, my son. They attacked simultaneously in several directions. Either that or he was, like, made, because he she calls him her son or something. No, not sensing the disruption in the flow. Amara somehow managed to deflect an attack from the north without aid. 
Zoya and Kayoko defended the western infrastructure, and rain drove them back from the walls. You yourselves defeated the biggest wave. And now time to defeat this thing and get another Luma Flow. Oh, extra Luma Flow is an additional Luma at the start of the turn. That's awesome. This is the last group. It'd be an awesome thing to get if the, uh... If, if, if this wasn't the last scenario. But after this, we'll get... Uh, if if we were playing a campaign, that would be an awesome thing. Why is there a human prisoner on our side? I guess we have to protect him. Gain one attack and two hit points. Moonshell. Used to be a human named... Marisha. Yabash. Sorry, Marisha. Look at that Foro Selecti. Goddess, is this... Yes, Sophia. There's no time for discussion. Some... Samara Ulturi. So we do know that humans can be turned in to moon monsters. So maybe he was a moon person. Turned turned back to person. Normal person. We do know that Tartalo would fit perfectly for this five damage here. I like oh this thing does twenty five damage. Yeah, Romero strategy. Or 25 health, I mean. It is 25 health. Oh. Moonshell. Cannot be affected by magic powers. Whoops. Well, wait, but that did. Oh, it can't be targeted by it, but it was still affected. Haha! -ha! I broke your moonshell by using it on them. Still, uh, not optimal. Now we have four damage coming in, and I can't block it all. Defense drone. Actually, that worked. Okay. I can't use this for more tactic here. But I can do a shell and save the life of this thing. Oh, crap. I just killed the old lady. They power up. Well, sorry. I didn't think about that, Sophia. You're going to have to take a knee. Oh. Does the prisoner have to survive? It doesn't say the prisoner has to survive. Your flesh is weak. Your mind's muddled. Your beliefs false. Pity the humans led by the mad goddess. Enough. Alturi, show this aberration our true mights. Yeah, who is mad? Are we sun... Do we have sunstroke or are they? do they have lunacy? Okay. So yeah, these... These all do exchanges. If we do a Magicka, this thing will die. And this thing will gain one attack and three hit points every turn. So that's scary. Okay, so that deleted that. The Romero strategy, that's brilliant. Now we have no damage coming through on the top lane, so I can put the Altherius up there safely. Of course, now it's back to dealing damage, but that's fine. Just one point of damage, so it's still safe for that. If I put out this converter, though, it would be bad. So my option would be to not play any more cards. Although I could do a shell on this thing to save its life. Yeah, I'll do that, I guess. Done. That is scary down there. I can smell your names, Sophia, Galdir, Mazun. Your fear is as delicious and heady as strong liquor. Please stop, I can't stand this sound, this feeling. Face my rage, Delecti, if you dare. Prisoners must survive. Destroy Foros Leader or Yabash. Ah, good. Yabash got stunned for the turn. Yabash. Could the Tartalo heal the prisoner? No, it's not it's not registering. I see. With the hash lines. The prisoner will die this turn if I do not do something, so I gotta put this shield up. It'll still take one damage at this rate. Also, a third is seven up top is going to die, and I'll take one damage. 
So, to prevent that, if I put out something, they'll power up more. I'll do a Luma converter up top. Okay, so then that monster is going to die. Four damage. The prisoner is going to get hurt by two. A gorgonza. Little gor put a little gorgonza on your pasta. It's delicious. Or on your next sandwich. Whenever ultimates use, gorgonza gains three attack and three health. Oh. Okay, so I gotta be careful. I pr if I use the ultimate, I should use the stun. I Well, actually, that's the only uh, thing I have besides the, the rage cannon. So, uh, that's fine. Should I do a Tartalo in the bottom lane? I have a lot of indecision now. Uh, okay, figure it out. Now I can do an Echo here. Yeah, and that'll work perfectly, because I'll summon. It'll take one damage, and then the Echo will finish it off. Ha ha, perfect. Right, that's that strategy again. And then, uh, I can use the Quant to just defend the top lane. Cool. And that works. Enemy leader's down to 30. No! I will not break. Leave me be, you filthy voices. I am human. Oh, okay. So Mazun is the character we unlock. His Yargo, Yago is so strong. He broke the forest's control. But look what they've done to him. So much of me. Plastic. So much pain. I'm going to tear you apart. Oh, are the enemies made of plastic? So he's like partially monster? And he's got like... Oh wow, he damaged them all. He's got like a little Metroid thing riding on him. Custom construction. You receive a Luma bot with one third... Wait, with one three. Three shields and corruption. That costs zero. Well, let's try it. Okay, so that can absorb three damage. So I can use that to defend the bottom lane. Cool. Then I'll summon a Tartalo here to defend this lane. I don't want to lose this Althera 7. So I could put a shell on it. No, I'll do the Quants. Or, well, I've got three mana left over. One attack, replay Magicka. One attack and we'll lose one hit point. So I could I could two two Magicka. Or if I do this, I maybe I can do multiple Magicka. Just put the Quant out front. And then I'll give that Quant a shell. Yeah, and that protects the Aetherius 7, right? No, no it doesn't. Whoops. Never mind, that was the wrong decision. I should have put the shell on the Aetherius. I was not thinking, but it's okay. Ah, fall back! Retreat! The Sledna seeds are already planted, and that's all that matters. Okay. Mazu must survive. Destroy the enemy leader. Well, suddenly the bottom lane's open. Not the Sledna seeds! What will we do? What fools we are, fighting here while the Sledna seeds were being planted. Alright, an ultimate was used, which means this thing powered up. If only I could echo it, but I can't. Hmm. I'll just slap another Tatalo there. That'll do. Then I'll... Romero tactic this sucker? Sure. Alright, we'll take two damage, but that's fine. Mazun must survive. And we will see that he does. Alright. See, I'm just going to push this lane hard. 
Although, actually, wait, the Echo Strike idea... Wait, I just, just hit this sucker. I don't like him. Putting our Therius down here. And uh, we're going to take 4 damage at the top lane, which sucks, but that's fine. Okay, while this thing's out here, I might want to do the stun. I have a hell of a lot of shells just sitting in my inventory. They're diffusive. When do they diffuse? Okay, I want to protect the top lane. That's important right now. This thing's going to get more aggressive as I use powers. So if I shell three things, it'll die. But I can only shell one thing. Oh, and I can't, I can't, I can only shell minions and not heroes. Oh, that's an issue. That's a big issue. Okay, I'm going to be taking two damage up top here, so I'll just do this Luma Converter up here. Because it seems like a reasonable thing to do now. This fight's a little tricky right now. Okay, so I can murder this thing by doing the Romuro tactic to you. Then I can do it again. Making that ineffective. Then I can use my Sanctus Might to... Just remove all the attack power of all my enemies. I'll put my... I'll throw a 7 in front of my most precious hero, Mazun. And that works. Okay, we're looking at 9 points of damage. It's getting problematic. That's what this is. Tartalo here will solve a lot of problems. I'll use the Romero strategy here. Well, no. I'll use it here. There we go. Because that one's going to get murdered anyways. Now we're looking at five points of damage up top. And I'll do a little sacrifice to make it a meager three points of damage. All right. Okay, my Zoon's looking unhealthy again. So we need to get a Tartalo up there. And then the Romero tactic will help me receive less damage. So we take that out. And now I'm only taking one point of damage. This is getting rough. Down to eight health now. How do I want to handle this? We don't want to use a special power yet. Okay, I'll put the defensive drone here. That makes sense. And then the echo there. So we don't take any damage this round. And Galdir continues to get healed. Okay. Romero tactic. Or Romero tactic to shield that lane. I could use a smash to stun three enemy creatures, but they gain a lot of health that way. Shoot. 
shoot. This guy's gonna get killed, though. He's still gonna get killed. And if I do shell, that's not gonna save him, right? Yeah, it doesn't stop the damage. Okay, so if I use a Sanctus Might, it might save him, but it might not. Or I could do... Yeah, I'll use the cons custom construction, and that will save him. But it's going to get rough. Because I'm going to take some damage in the other lanes. Ah, crap, I might lose this. I think I might lose this fight. I can't save him. I can't save the hero anymore. Brings it down to three damage in that lane. There's nothing I could do. That's a hard fight. He got killed eventually. <laughs> All right, one more time. We can do this. All right, the last group. All that plot. I thought I had done well to do things to help me out in the long term, but the enemy just slowly wore me down. Okay, the Romero strategy was really good. Just gotta use it not directly on a person. Then I have four mana remaining. I can do the shield and then the quants. And then just draw more cards. And we know she leaves eventually. I just have to endure. Shield at the front. Maybe do an echo on this guy for double damage. Is that the best way to do this? Do the Romero tactic on this guy. And then we'll do a mirror attack. And I'll take care of that problem. I'll be losing Galdir, though. But I'm keeping Sophia alive this time. Oh, but now Galdir's not going to stun him. He's not going to do that stun that he does. As part of the story. That's problematic. Okay, summon both Aetheriuses to this lane. Although we'll be losing one, won't we? I didn't, I didn't think that through. Oh, well, whoops. Oh, but did that guy break out early? Maybe he broke it early. His Yago is strong. Okay, well he's made of plastic. I'm a plastic man! With a plastic plan. Alright. I would like a Tartalo for this lane to save the old lady. We'll continue sacrificing the bottom lane and taking damage there. That's fine. Um, I guess I might as well make it a Luma Converter down there. Just because it's like an even trade. Even deal. Um... I'm a little bit worried about our friend up top taking damage. 
So, uh... Don't know what to do about that. Just do a Luma converter up top as well. And, I don't know, Romero that even though it's not really useful right now. Alright, I'll save my energy. Because I want to get this... I'm worried about this creature down below. Alright, now... That thing is retreating. And the game begins... For real, as it were. This is when the real fight begins. Alright, Tatalo up front. Seems like a good solution. Another Altherius here to generate more mana, and we'll just we'll just take that one damage at the bottom. That's fine. We're gonna just generate crazy mana. And I don't want to use superpowers because this thing will go crazy if I do. Now there's two of them that'll go crazy if I do. Doesn't make my situation any better, but hey. Alright. Uh, so, defensive drone here. And defensive drone to protect my Arthuriuses. And then, I guess, the Tartalo will help protect... Mazoon there as well. So we'll do that. That problem just solved itself. Beautiful. Oh, well, I didn't think about the fact that the shield was wasted from the shield drone. Really. That's alright. I'll Romero tactic this sucker. We'll use the uh, symbol to just draw this guy out a bit. The Romero tactic to further degrade this thing. And then we can murder it by shelling you, even though it doesn't really make much sense to do so. I'll then do the Echo strategy on you. And then even go as far as using a Luma Converter. I could. Nah. Continue saving up energy. We could even Rage Cannon this battle. That'd be a way to counteract things. Should we use the Romero strategy there? We're gonna kill the enemy up top. Do a quant down there. I really want to alter the future, but I can't right now, so yeah, we'll just play the cards we got. Alright, done. Alright, now that there's only one Gorgonza, now let's use some special powers. Okay, I don't care if you gain health from it. Four damage to all enemies. Can't take enough use- we can't make good enough use of that right now. And then he would t get three. Just, uh... We'll just have to make sure to alter the future, that's all. Okay, alter the future. And hope we get good use out of it. The enemies are powered up. We'll to protect our precious leader. We'll use a strategy to get the rest of your power away from you. Okay, beautiful. Another one of these things. How dare you, Gorgonzas. I don't like you. Discourage me to use my ultimates. Doesn't matter, we have plenty of other good things. We'll make it so the Gorgonzas deal no damage at all! 
It's pointless. Yeah, we're controlling the battlefield, so I have no reason to use my specials right now. Oh, let's power up that rage cannon again. Okay. Shell. 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 There. Die already. I just killed that enemy with shells. It's a shell game! Haha! -ha. Alright, this feels better. We're winning this fight now. Ah, max energy. Alright, fire the rage cannon! Do it! Shoot a ball from your face into the other face! Take that! Balls in your face! Haha! -ha. It's what... It's what Ark is all about. Arcs is all about. It's where, that's what we're all about here. Alright, yeah, please be the end of it. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> My poor dear child, what did they do to you? They were trying to create a Furos to Lecti, but it looks like we interrupted the process just in time. His humanity is fading with every heartbeat. We have to stop this goddess. Mazun is me, citizen of Arcs, lead engineer, Arctectus. Ar- yeah. Arctectus. Architectus. The pain. The thirst. The call. The power. Please, you must cleanse me. You must kill me! No, you have my blessing to join the Alturi. There is a way to halt your transformation, but we have very little time. Oh no, that's not the end of it. Okay. Can I... can I save the game? I'm not sure if I'm allowed to save the game. Alright, well, I'll, fi I'll finish this up. And, uh, I might have to continue this video. All right, let's see. Or I'll I'll have to like take a small bathroom break after I decide this. Or no, I'm just gonna take a bathroom break right now. I'll pause the recording, and uh, then we'll continue it after this. All right. So thank you for watching this part of uh, the Against the Moon. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye bye.